What's up my beautiful people, Kenny Good Vibes TV and we're there one more time with another amazing Jamaican recipe Yes, today I am going to make some sweet potato pudding So here are the ingredients, we have some coconut, coconut have to go in there Two pound of sweet potato, if you're going to try this make sure you use the Caribbean sweet potato, the red skin one Look a yellow skin one, they don't, they don't sweet enough I have here a piece of yam, white yam. This is gonna serve as a binder to bind everything together. And for the spices, we have some vanilla, some rose water, some cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of browning for the color, and of course, some hardcore Jamaican cane sugar, and that's brown sugar. First thing we're gonna do is start wash and prepare these. To give myself less work, yeah man, when you're in the kitchen, you have to work smart, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and peel my potato right in there. See how that sweet potato look? The grater is very small. Look at this grater. This is the grater I'm going to use, and I'm going to use this side. Alright, so I'm going to start off with one piece. When we were kids growing up, Grandma used to grate the coconut. Everybody used to wait on this little piece. Then, the next thing, we're gonna go with the potato. The yam now is the final lap for real, real. You know, the yam is much softer. Mix all of this together now and get it real bind together, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna cover up this for about an hour and a half so it can bind together and I get back to it. So meanwhile, we are going to go ahead and start creating the spice, the yeah man, the sweetness. We are going to start off with some coconut milk powder. Some sugar. We are going to go in with some vanilla extract. Some rose water, a little bit of browning for some coloring, some nutmeg. Have to measure the nutmeg because you don't want to put too much. Cinnamon powder, gonna put a piece of butter in the microwave. Still on the spice, we have some melted butter. This is some raisin been soaking in rum for a few days. Give it that nice rummy Caribbean feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah man, just mix that up in there. Give it that little raisin touch, you know? Give it 
thing up on the right level. So you see that looking dry? We don't want it dry. So after an hour and a half, this is how it looks. And we have the perfect remedy for the top to get that nice and moist. And we're gonna put it in back for about 35 minutes. So all of this leftovers, this is what that far. I might not put all of it, but this is the sweetness for the top. That nice, moist sweetness for the top. Yes guys, that is looking amazing. Now I'm gonna make that cool for about one hour. 